sips the tea. Jokes. It's Coke. <laughs> Guess who's bought more clothes? <laughs> Hey girls and boys, it's Jordan back later again with another YouTube video. And we have another video in our clothing little... <laughs> <laughs> Another video for our little testing one brand clothing series. If you guys are new to these series, which I'm sure you're not because we all do it on YouTube. It's like a little thing that goes around here. But just in case you haven't seen one before or if you haven't seen it from me, basically what I do is I buy a bunch of clothes from one clothing brand and we test them out. We find out whether it is worth spending your dollar on. And also in the ones that I do, I style the items because I don't know about you guys, styling can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> like knowing what to pair with what can be like, a freaking like task. So if I like them, I'll style them up, give you guys a little bit of inspo if you like my kind of style, I guess. I have done a few of these before. I've done Boohoo and Misguided. I will leave them linked below if you wanna check out after this video. But today's brand, ladies and gents, is... That was like my attempt at a drum roll. It's gonna be the one and only Pretty Little Thing. Now I feel like we all know Pretty Little Thing, right? I feel like me, you, our ancestors know about Pretty Little Thing. Now, no, no, no. I do just want to point out Pretty Little Thing were super, super kind to send me half of these clothes. So thank you so, so much for doing that. However, half of it I did buy myself because I wanted to get like a lot. Like a lot. I feel like if I'm going to do this video, then I may as well go all out and like buy a lot. You know, basically just my excuse to get more clothes ready. But I'm so grateful for them sending me some bits, but that will in no way affect my opinion on something because if I think something's shit, it's shit. Do you know what I mean? Like why, why would I sit here and, and lie to you guys? Like... Mm -mm. Believe me, your guys' trust in me is way more important than just receiving a £10 top for free. There is no BS over here. You can't smell the BS, okay? <laughs> anyway, I feel like that was a long intro. If you guys want to know whether these little pieces that I got from Pretty Little Thing are worth spending your money on, then just keep watching. What do we start with? You know what? Let's keep it simple. Let's go basic. Now I love myself a simple, basic, like, what? I wasn't sure where I was going with that. <laughs> Basically, anything basic I feel like is a staple. I feel like we all need a good old basic. And when I saw this on Pretty Little Thing, I just like had to have it. This is so me. It literally is a black oversized t-shirt dress, which on camera looks bloody huge. <laughs> like, why does that look so big? <laughs> Fit body free me in there. The material is just like a simple cotton, but it feels nice and thick. Like it doesn't feel see-through in the slightest, which is fab. The model looked really cool wearing it. And I was like, shall I try being cool? I'll try. As far as sizing and prices go, there is literally one of my hairs just chilling on it. It comes in one size. Like it, the size is actually called one size, which pretty little thing, babes. Like, are we all one size? We're not. We're not, okay? <laughs> all different body sizes, different shapes, and it's beautiful like that. And I feel like when you put something to one size, it just doesn't fit for everyone. And that, that annoys me. Like someone who's really, really petite, is it gonna look huge and baggy on them? And then someone who's a little bit bigger, a little bit more curvy, is it gonna look super tight on them? I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, I just don't like it. So hopefully this is okay. I'm gonna find out. And it was. <laughs> It was only 10 pounds though, which is such a box. Okay, if this fits well, this is gonna be like a solid 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let's try it on. Let's see how I would style it. Oh my God, I love it. This is probably my favorite t-shirt dress that I actually own. I love it. It comes to the perfect length. You know, everything's covered. The tushy is fully covered. Even if the wind comes, like cheeks are gonna be in. It's the perfect like oversizedness. Do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> What am I doing? It's so comfy as well, to be honest with you. I don't even want to try any more on. I'm like, can I just stay like this, please? I feel like it's kind of cool as well. It's so easy to wear. I am ob freaking zest. I've kept it kind of like chill and cash. So for shoes, if you can see, I went with my classic Vans and then my necklace, this here. It's a little like three, <laughs> I was about to say three way, but that just sounds... It's like one necklace, but it has three necklaces on it. If that makes sense, this is from H&M. I feel like this would look super cute with like a little backpack or something, like holding it over the one shoulder if you're feeling risky. I love it. I honestly love it. I feel like this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite pieces in this entire haul. Oh my God. Outfit done. These shades, by the way, are from Primark. I am actually obsessed. <laughs> this t-shirt just for me gets a solid 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 12 out of 10. I love it. Now, I don't know why, but I have been obsessing over suits. I mean, guys in a suit is like, hello. But girls in a suit, like hair, 
low. I feel like it looks so bomb, like a boss bitch, and I'm I'm here for it, guys. And when I saw this one, I was like, you could like dress this up, dress this down. I was feeling it. So the trousers and the blazer you do buy separately, which I think is cool, because obviously we're different sizes on top to bottom and all that jazz. These are the trousers here. I think they're just like wide leg trousers. And then down the side, they have stripes here, like five, four, four stripes. I can't count. I'm really intrigued to see how this is gonna make my legs look because sometimes things on the side can like make an illusion, can make your legs look smaller, bigger, we'll find out. The material as well is like real interesting. I don't even know what you would call it. It's nice and thick. It's kind of like chiffon? No, it's not chiffon. Is it? I don't know, but it feels good, it feels good. And then the blazer is kind of like a fitted blazer, I guess. Couple stripes down the arms and then it also comes with, you know, the thing that kind of Ooh. It goes around your waist to like bring you in to give you a little bit of shape, which I really really like Basically, I just want to see how I look in a suit to be honest I mean if I can look as cool as the model then I mean Okay, the trousers I got in a size 6 whenever it comes to wide leg trousers I always size down I'm usually an 8 just because I feel like they'll fit me a bit better and look a little bit nicer when maybe look as like On the legs and then the blazer I also sized down and got a 6 just because I really wanted it to be nice and you know Fitted. The trousers were 18 and the blazer was 20, so that's 38 pounds. Why am I speaking like this? I don't know. 38 pounds. I feel like if this looks cool on me, then that's chill. That's chill. Let's uh let's try it on. Honestly, pretty little thing. You have my heart. This is insane. This honestly fits so well. I'm so glad I got a size six in both. You can't really see the ends of the trousers, but believe me when I say these honestly come to the perfect length. They don't drag on the floor or anything. Yeah. This is so freaking cool. Like, I love it. I love the stripes. I feel like it's a really cool, like, touch. I just am um, kind of obsessed. I've still got these same glasses on from Primark and still the same necklace. My boots, my little booties. These are from Primark. Yeah, you could even add, like, a cute little bag to go with it. This one is from I Saw It First. Oh, also, by the way, the trousers are um, elasticated, so they fit so well. Like, they just sort of cling to your body. Honestly, if they had this in other colours, I would literally get every single one. This is the vibe. I'm obsessed. Oh. The only thing I wish I had was pockets, but apart from that, honestly, this is such a vibe. Next thing I have to show you guys is a cute little top. It's so cute. It's all, like, crochet -y and holy, holy. <laughs> It is this little number here. It is just this adorable little white crochet top. It's kind of high neck. The sleeves look like this. And I have like little frilly bits on the shoulder. There's a little frill on the bottom. Um, and then it does up by like a huge zip at the back. I feel like this is going to be that perfect top. You know when like you throw it on with a pair of jeans and you look 10 times more done up? <laughs> it's this top. Well, I mean, that's how it looked on the model anyway. It is see-through, of course. Hence the holes. <laughs> so you can wear like a cute little bralette underneath or just like a white bra or something. That's how I'm going to do it anyway, I think. I'm not usually a frill kind of girl, to be honest. But this was cute. This was cute. I stacked my size with this top just because obviously there's like no stretch in this. None at all. Oh. I thought I broke it. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I got an A and it was £25. Which, I mean, it is a more higher quality top. So totally expect that. Let go. Let's see how it looks on. Here is the white top on, I have to say... Pro thing, again, you killed it. I really love everything. And I feel like you guys are probably gonna think, Jordan, really, you love everything. But I honestly love everything. Ah! How cute is the little white top though? It is so like different. I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe, which is really cool. I love the little frill on the shoulder. It kind of reminds me of like olden day style, but it's like modern, do you know what I mean? I normally don't like this length, gonna be honest. I feel like sometimes it's really awkward, but where it's sort of frilly, I think it's kind of cute. It is a teeny bit big. I feel like if you want it to be tight, size down, but this is what it looks like at the back. One little, little, little thing. I will say though, if you have sensitive skin, like really, really sensitive skin, you might find this a little bit itchy. I don't personally, because I don't have sensitive skin, it's fine for me. I'd go out in it and feel comfortable. But I do just want to say, my boys and girls out there with sensitive skin, you may like find this a bit too uncomfortable to wear. My bag, by the way, is from River Island. My jeans, these are actually from Pretty Little Thing. I got them a while ago. I'm just wearing some white little boots that are from a Nasty Girl, which I'm obsessed with these boots so much. Whenever I wear white, I'm like, yeah, stick these on. I love the whole like crochet vibe of it all and everything. Basically, I like it a lot. I'm gonna switch up now and show you guys some shoes. Holy freaking crack and roll. These shoes, I'm actually like in love with these shoes. I feel like we have a connection. <laughs> they come in a cute box though. Pretty little thing. Every time. They are actually gorge. Like, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> There is for sure some of you at home being like, 
Ew. <laughs> Are these not the coolest boots you've ever seen in your like goddamn life? As soon as I saw these on the website, I've never put something in my basket so fast. They're nude, chunky, biker, suede, boot, cool things on your feet. I'm gonna live in these kind of situation. They're suede, they have kind of like faux leather bits all around them. They have like these straps as well, like little buckly straps. Chunky sort of so I love the lace up front. I can see these paired with whites and all nude outfit would look amazing. I'm just so glad I got these guys. Like these are, this is me in a shoe. And what does Jordan do when she likes something so much? She gets them in another color. You bet your ass I got them in black too. Black is such a staple color shoe. It goes with everything. We all need a pair of black boots, shoes, trainers, whatever in our life. And these are the brand new edition. New addition to the fam. These are like the Jesus of my shoes. <laughs> they literally are exactly the same to the suede, the sort of faux leather, chunky sole, everything. Do you know what? The black ones, I actually wanted the Louis Vuitton boots. I will put a picture in here. I still want them though. But how similar are they to them? It just, you know, these were about the LV. So they're PLT. You know. By the way, I got them in a size 5. That's my normal size. They are true to size. And they were £45 each, which I am not mad at at all. In fact, for a pair of shoes, I like love that is a steal if you ask me i'm just gonna put you over here okay i feel like it's about time we get a little bit more dressy up in this house so, i'm looking at this dress like this is so extra the top is basically kind of mesh got little panels down it as you can see kind of high neck ish has long sleeves as well and then you ready look at the skirt have you ever seen so much fluffiness in your life. It's legit covered in feathers. If this is not the most like extra dress you've ever seen in your life, then I don't know what is. I have nothing in my wardrobe like this at all. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear this to, but I just had to have it. Like I said, the top is mesh. You do have to, you know, wear a little something to cover these little guys. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really, really nice. The model looked insane in it, and I just had to have it, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Every time. I stuck to my size with this. I got a size A and it definitely is more on the pricier side. It was 60 pounds, which is expensive. I'm not gonna lie. We're not, we're not playing around here. But if this fits really, really well, then okay. But that's what I'm here to show you guys. Um, how adorable is this dress? It's so strange because I don't think I'd normally pick out a dress like this. And then I saw it on the model and I was like, yeah, I kind of need that. Now that I have it on, I actually kind of love it. It's also strange because I feel like it's a little bit daring. You know, you've got a lot going on here. We've got mesh up here. We've got bird action down here, but it's so wearable and just so cute. Ignore the bra situation. I've put on the plainest white bra you've ever seen in your life. The skirt comes to a really, really nice length. Like everything is covered. It's nowhere near short at all. I paired it with this cute little clutch here. This is from I saw it first. It's just like light pink because my shoes, my shoes, oh. My shoes are the clear sort of new shappy ones from Boohoo. It fits pretty nicely as well. Like the waist is fab. It really, really is like, it sucks you in. The only thing I would change though is these sleeves. I feel like they're a little bit loose. I don't really know why. I feel like I want them to be like tight. But apart from that, everything else I really, really love. Yeah, definitely a yes from me. The next thing I have here is another kind of like basic item. It's basic, but it's not basic because it's literally bright pink. Is this just not like one of the best pink colors ever? They're like really light baby pink. I love it. It is basically just a t-shirt, literally a t-shirt and it says Brooklyn in white on the front. I love the pink and the white. I think it's such a vibe. It's a simple basic cotton t-shirt. It is, I think, oversized like naturally a bit more oversized and because of that i stuck to a small just because you know i didn't want it to be like whoa huge it was only 10 pounds as well so like i said just a simple basic item this is cute no let's roll the trunk clip. okay right before i say anything about this top please excuse the fact there's about 20 million creases in it let's just like ignore this <laughs> this top is just so simple but i love it i love the color just adds a little like Color, you know? I've kept it really, really simple with the outfit. This is like an everyday outfit for me. I've kind of like tucked the top in at the front. I mean, you could wear it like untucked. You could even maybe like tie it here for like a crop top style. I don't know. I like it Simon Cow style personally. <laughs> the bag is from H&M. My jeans, these are so cool. They have like little triangle cutouts at the front. How cute are these? These are from Naked Fashion. And then of course my Air Force Ones. 
simple. Like I said, a super cash everyday outfit. This is the perfect top for that. So yeah, I, I like it. Even though it's so simple, I really, really do like it. I mean, would this really be a Jordan Lipscomb haul if I didn't include a two-piece? I think not. So the next thing is a two-piece. What? To be honest with you, this was a piece that, because the model looked that good, she looked that good, I had to get it. I just had to get it. So, the, um, wow, well, it's on the floor. It's on the floor, apparently. It is in this amazing stony beige nude colour. Nude at the moment is, like, a thing. Everyone's in nudes, like, all nude. <laughs> <coughs> wow. I literally was thought I was going to be six feet under. This is a bodycon skirt, which goes on for days. This is actually a Medaxi skirt, so it's one of those skirts that come like above your ankle. Like this is hella long. I have never been the kind of girl to wear things that long because I always used to think they made me like a little stump. Like made me look stump. I'm actually pretty average height. I'm like five foot six, so I don't really know what. And then the little top that it comes with is like a basic little crop top. It looks really small on camera. Like that's only gonna cover like a nip, but I'm pretty sure it did come like kind of normal. The material's not what I expected. I thought it was gonna be, you know, that like jersey stretchy material. I mean, it's stretchy still, as you can see, but it's like a thick cotton. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be see-through or not, but um, I don't know, it feels quite good. The skirt is a size six, I don't know why. Any skirts that are like really long, I always size down. <laughs> Logic. And then the top is in a size eight and it was really, really affordable as well. The skirt was 15 and the top was eight. So what, that's um, 23? Do you know what, if I got that right, that was some quick maths. So like, I feel like a proud mum. This could look so cool during the day with some flats or like with some heels and a jacket. Let's try it on and see how I would style it. Here is the little nude cord on. The fit is amazing. Like it is so tight. Everything just is so like in, which when you're wearing bodycon is exactly what you want. Like we don't want no like bagginess anywhere. I'm obsessed with the color like nude at the moment. I feel like it's on everybody's like must haves. This is what it looks like at the back. Excuse the label, wow. One thing I will say though is um, when you first get it, it is so restricting on your legs. You walk like this. This is gonna sound so weird and you're gonna be like, all right, Jordan, thanks. But actually walk, like don't be scared to walk. Cause when I first did it, I didn't want to stretch it. I was like, okay, you just have to like stretch the bottom out and then like you're good to go. The length, if I can show you, literally comes just above my ankles. I feel like to cash this up, I could put on my teddy bear coat, which by the way is from H&M. Nude on nude, you literally can't go wrong. This is such a cute outfit, right? I literally love everything. If you're looking for a nude coward like this, Pretty Little Thing. Go to Pretty Little Thing. I literally have a new couple more things to show you guys. And the next thing is... Uh, got lipstick everywhere. It's another suit that's covered in lipstick, so good. I wanted to get this suit though, because like the last one I got was more cash. This one I definitely think is more, you know, like going out. And I'm all about trying new things, you guys. I'm all about trying the new garms. Garms. Genuinely don't think I've ever said that in my entire 20 years of existence on this earth. So where did that come from? Who even knows? The trousers are just kind of straight leg, wide leg situation trousers. They're just black. And then the blazer, the front of the blazer. So, you know, like this bit here is quite low cut, which I think is really, really nice. So, you know, you get that sort of like open chest situation or you could just like wrap it around and like cover you up it's totally up to you what you're comfortable with the sleeves i love i think it adds like such a feminine touch they are like bell sleeves if you can see that and then of course you get the belt thing to tie around and keep everything sucked in this to me is the definition of a feminine suit if you want a suit but you still want to look really girly i feel like this is that also the material of this is really interesting it's definitely more lightweight like it's way way thinner and it's really like soft I can't explain it, but what is also really cool about this as well, this is part of the petite range. Now, <laughs> I'm laughing because I can just picture the, the pictures on Twitter. Um, I don't know what it is, but pretty little thing. <laughs> Why are their trousers always so long? When I say long, I mean like your legs would have to be like, this long to fit in it. I just don't get it. So I'm hoping that because this is petite, it'll be a lot shorter. So yeah, like I said, any sort of wide leg trousers always size down. So we've got this in a six. The blazer is actually in a 10. So like, hopefully it's fine. It's in a 10 because there was no other sizes and that's how desperately I wanted this. I was like, F it, I'm gonna get it. Even though I have like basically no boobs to put in this, but embrace it. Embrace ditty bitty titties. Who's with me? <laughs> now this was actually a bit more on the pricier side. The blazer was 25 and the trousers were 20. So that's 45 pounds, which I actually think is a little bit pricey compared to the other stuff anyway. But 
you know what? It's all about the fit. It is all about the fit and the quality. Let's try it on. Let's see if I can look as good as the model. Ugh. You're actually a bit disgusting, Jordan. Okay, again, I think we found another winner. This is one of my favorite suits. It is so girly, yet so kind of classy at the same time. I feel like a woman, you guys. I turned 20 and now look at me, I'm in suits. <laughs> Everywhere fits really, really nicely, especially the top. Considering this is a 10, this fits so well. I love the sleeves so much. I think they're so cool. One thing I did notice though, I looked, the suit is meant to have a button and mine just doesn't have a button. I guess that's like some sort of error on their end. But I don't really care though, cause you have this bit around the middle to kind of sort everything out. Trousers, okay, one thing I probably should have thought about. I got a petite, so getting a six on the bum, it's a little bit tight. It's pretty tight on the top half, like there's not much, um, room for anything i don't really have you know the biggest bum or anything but it is tight and it's like tight around my waist i mean that's a good thing because then it's not gonna fall down it's fine like it's not uncomfortable or anything i just probably should have got an eight the length though for petite this is what i'm talking about the length is literally perfect like why why aren't all the trousers like this by the way i paired it with my clear heels from boohoo um and i've still got the necklace on from h&m but i wish i had pockets though i'm such a pocket girl i'm still 100 percent gonna wear this and i still freaking love it so yeah you've done it again you've killed it again we are on to the last thing if you made it this far give this video a thumbs up we have a little sort of shirt dress here can you hear the material of this it's very like shirty I mean, I know it's a shirt dress, but it's very shirty. It's just a basic black shirt dress. And then around the middle, there is these little bits of material, which actually holds this ring. So it has like this ring detail around the waist, which I think kind of like spices it up a little bit. You'll see it better in the model because that was just the most awful showing thing ever. If you know me, you'll know how much I love a shirt dress. They're so easy to throw on and I think they look fab. One of my favorites is actually from Pretty Little Thing. It was the Kourtney Kardashian collection. I love that. Stacks my size, a size 8 and it was £25. Let's have a look and see what this looks like on. This is the one item that I'm a bit like mm, about. I'm not going to send it back though because I definitely think you can work with this. However, this just doesn't fit properly you probably can see but this should be sat like here on my waist and kind of like bring this in to give it a bit more shape but instead it's just like sitting down here and kind of like not doing anything should be like up here but it's here i don't know it just doesn't fit here it does come to a really really nice length though it's such a nice shirt dress i love how like the skirt bit at the bottom comes out gives it a bit more shape and makes it kind of girly rather than just like normal shirt dresses are like whoop, you know really it's this bit that i don't like i just i don't get why it's here it's just like hanging but the good thing is you can actually take the little ring out which is what i'm gonna do look at the two bits of material just like and i'm gonna take my own belt hide these bits of material underneath because like what is this what are you look how much better that is this makes my waist look freaking tiny or is it just me i think it's where this comes out like ding. i prefer this so much more like this this is way better it's kind of sad because i did buy this shirt dress for this detail because i thought this was really really cool and then it makes me think is it worth buying this shirt dress or should you just get like a normal shirt dress but this shirt dress has this shape at the bottom like this sort of girly skirt so i don't know this belt by the way is from primark i'd probably put it with some heels or maybe for like daytime some trainers or something this is like a hit and a miss a miss because let's be real it didn't fit properly and i had to kind of like do my own thing with it but then it's a hit because i made it work so <sighs> i'm so hot okay everything has been tried on we have tested out pretty little thing i am pretty happy you guys i don't really have anything bad to say there was a couple things that probably could have fit better you know like that i would have preferred but having said that i'm still gonna wear everything like i'm not gonna be sending anything back and when you don't send anything back that's when you know you've got a good order my personal favorites have to be the shoes the two suits i loved the black t-shirt dress as well and also the like little white dress i think that's so cute to be honest with you i pretty much loved everything the black shirt dress was probably my least favorite thing i think that could have fit way better but apart from that your girl's happy so the real question is would i recommend pretty little thing to you guys drum roll please <laughs> i'm so dramatic 
ew. <laughs> yeah, I would. I feel like their prices are pretty reasonable. Like they're not too expensive. They have some really nice stuff as well. That like they're pretty current. They're pretty much on the trends. Um, and I love that. It's cool. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because it lets me know to make more of these videos. If you made it this far as well before you go, don't forget to subscribe and join this little fam that we have over here. Thank you guys so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love every single one of you so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Wow, my dumb ass had lipstick on my face and I didn't even realize. Honestly, that's the story of my life. So what can you do? I am covered in little feathers. It's Freaky Friday. I'm in Chris Brown Friday. I'm Kendall Jenner. I'm going to have a trainer. <laughs> Wow, what is actually on my face right now? Why isn't my pillow staying? Can we? Thanks.